click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BakeAtTaco.com and I'm here in my studio to do a, I guess I'll call it an unboxing, but it's not an unboxing of a camera. So I'm gonna just put this uh, cool Instax Wide 300 camera down and I'm gonna grab just down here First things first, so as I was opening this up this morning, and as I peeled this little strip thing away, I, I realized, you know what, maybe I'll actually do an unboxing, a box opening of this. So what is this, and what is the other package? Uh, this has a little bit to do with my uh, YouTube channel, as well as my Instagram. I find that as I uh, gain more followers, and that in itself is not the goal, the, but it is part of a, a result of uh, putting more work into what I do when it comes to my Instagram photography as well as my YouTube channel, that other brands start to uh, recognize you and they start offering to either send you products to review or they just really like uh, what you're doing and they want to support your work. And so uh, this young fella from New York, um, Juan, he approached me uh, on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try out his uh, his uh, camera, leather straps. And like anyone who approaches me, I usually look at their feed and kind of look at the products that they have because I don't want to waste anyone's time and review something that I probably won't like or something I'm not interested in reviewing. Like for instance, let's just say, uh, I don't know, a, a dishwasher company says, Take, would you want to try my dishwasher? And first of all, I don't use a dishwasher. Uh, and also it doesn't really work with my theme. So I'll be like, oh, that's really nice. And that's a beautiful dishwasher, but I'm not just gonna take freebies because you're giving me something. So I've had some different brands offer to give me different things. And I've uh, either I didn't think I would use it or I didn't think it worked with my brand. And I would kindly say thank you very much for thinking about me, but uh, uh, thank you, but no thank you. But this uh, made sense. It's a, uh, now Juan has a brand, it's called Child of Laborer. And I asked him first, like, what does that mean? And so you can look him up. I will, I'll put all his links here. So um, it's his brand of uh, camera straps and camera accessories. And the reason why he used the name Child of Labor because he said he is a child of parents who work uh, blue-collar jobs, that they are hardworking parents. And that really moved me because myself, I am also an immigrant. Now, both my mother and my father worked so hard to raise us and made sure that we had a better life. And Juan shared a similar story of his parents working so hard. So in a way, his company uh, of him, him making straps is a uh, uh, respect for his parents. So I thought that was a really wonderful thing, but I also liked his straps. So here, I, here, so I did tear this open, but I have not opened up his packaging. But first thing I noticed is his packaging is very slick. He uses this uh, express post where it's a sort of security seal that if this was open, you know the way that someone's played with it. So this was nice. So I did peel it back. And inside here, he sent me two of his straps. So he has a, a custom stamp logo, which is very good about when you brand yourself, that you physically have a stamp or some way of showing who you are and what you do. So that is consistent here, that's consistent here. So here's the two straps that he sent for me. So thank you, Juan, for sending these to me. Um, so let's open these up. Very nice, uh, beautiful uh, cardboard boxes. Mm, nice, nice fresh leather. And you can see inside here, um, it says this leatherware is designed for you to use every day. So great uh, line, great motto. And again, here's a good look at his uh, strap here. So and it says here, handmade premium quality leather made in New York. So that's kind of cool, made in the USA. And uh, one of the straps I was interested in was his uh, black leather strap. Uh, with the red stitching because as you know, I review a lot of Leica cameras and the red and black is kind of iconic for Leica. So here it is. Um, I have not yet had a chance to uh, play with here. Let me see how he wrapped this. But even this this tape, this, uh, oh, let me see here. Wandy, oh, look at that. It's, it's easier than I thought. So let's see here. And he has a, um, I don't know what you call it. He stamps in, in leather. Uh, punch, is it what it's called? But whatever, he, he branded this in, so it says uh, child of labor. And uh, I did ask him if he burnished or he burns the edges, and he said no, 
Uh, he doesn't do that because he wants that to kind of wear in naturally, so I guess I'll have to use this a lot to see if I like it. But right off the bat, I'm checking out its length, and you know what? Perfect. Yeah, this is a really good height, so I, I, I kind of like this, this height here. So, Juan, I think I'm going to like this already. I'm not sure if this is your standard uh, length for your straps, or you kind of... Oh, that was the, the camera turning off. Um, if this is your standard length, so just go on to his website or his Instagram account or uh, DM him and ask him, but uh, so far, so good. I like the, the length of it. It's perfect for me. And um, let me see here. The stitching is good. Uh, yeah, very strong. Very strong. I like the rings. I think I might have some issues with uh, putting this through. You know what? I have a Fuji film camera here right now, so let me just let me just try it right now. I find that the Fuji strap lugs are are smaller. The holes are smaller than on uh, the Leicas or any of my older film cameras. So uh, it's never a, a slight on the strap company because I had the same problem with Artisan and Artist as well as Sailor Strap. I had ended up going to a hardware store and changing out these rings for the Fuji films. But uh, let's just see. Um, so far, it looks so good that it's going in. So this is the X100T. And these are harder to put in. You know, some guys, like I... I did shoot DSLR for a long time, and DSLR is just that slit, and it is a lot easier to put the straps, the the strap on, but they don't look as sexy. It's all about looks, right? All about sexy. So once these are on, they feel solid. There is no way that it unbuckles itself that the other type of DSLR straps can do. So I'm here. I'm just spinning this on. Let's see here. So you know what? Pretty. Yeah, see, so what happens is it, it, it's, it tends not to want to move from where the two lugs, you know, there's one opening on one side and the other one on the other side, and there's like a little, it's thinner in the middle. It tends to want to stay in that middle spot on the Fujifilm. So again, uh, it's nothing to do with the strap. It has to do with Fujifilm. I wish the Fujifilm, if I was a machinist, what I would do is actually I would drill out these holes to make them a little bit bigger, but then I'd be worried about the, making this lug area a bit too thin and maybe... Uh, uh, sort of weakening the integrity of these lugs. So what I would do is go to a hardware store, get the thinner ones. So, um, uh, and this maybe is a, a good thing for Juan too, just so you know that this is a problem with the Fujis, with the Leicas, and you know, this is an older Minolta. The holes are bigger, so they tend to fit better, but all the Fujis, they just tend to be a little bit small. But anyways, I'm just looking at this, and the length, even on this, here, let me just turn this around. Very beautiful length, I really like it. It looks so slick. So this black and red, you don't need to put on a Leica. Even on a Fuji or a Sony or a Canon, anything with a the lug, these things look beautiful. So uh, very nice. Thank you. And I just uh, check out this other one here. Okay, so this is the other strap that uh, Juan sent me. And again, same very slick packaging, beautiful boxes. Um, let me see here. I should be able to slide this open. Oh, very easy. Excellent. So here's the other one. It actually feels lighter than this one. This feels denser. I'm not sure if it has to do with the type of leather. This actually, the brown one feels a bit spongy, like softer. And so we'll see how it wears out. Maybe the black one over time will, if like it feels a bit tight, so maybe over time it'll, it'll loosen up. But right off the, the bat, this one feels softer and more comfortable. And again, checking the length. Uh, yeah, perfect Asian tourist uh, length. Now in terms of the strap color, I guess, uh, Juan did ask me what color stitching I wanted, so I guess you could get the red, and there's other colors that uh, that he can provide. So very cool. Um, he, he made something that's practical, meaning you know you do have to stitch these ends, and the way that he did it uh, with this contrasting colors, and then with these little squares. I'm not sure if that's a popular way of doing it, but it's a very distinct style. So I like it. And again, he has his uh, his branding right on here, which is. I gotta get that word, whatever it's called, uh, an iron, is it ironed in or stamped in or something? But uh, beautiful straps. Uh, I think on the Fujis, the brown, I think you can see here on the Fujis, the brown will look, you know, with the chrome and the black and the brown, I think that'll look really slick. So thank you so much, Juan, for sending me these straps. I'm gonna put them to very good use and uh, uh, let you know, as well as my followers know what I think about these. I haven't used leather straps in a long time, uh, but uh, I, I like these. These are very 
these are very cool. So thank you so much for this. And I have a, another box opening, another thing that came in the package today. And I've been, I've been working with this brand for a while. It's a Sailor Strap from Poland. And they too, they approached me through direct mail, through Instagram. And they asked, uh, you know, they said they, they like what I do and they see me reviewing different products and they asked, uh, would you like to review our straps? And I was very interested. It was their uh, polyester silk straps that uh, are a lot like the artisan and artist ones, but they're a lot cheaper because they use the synthetic uh, uh, silk and it's nautical silk. So it's, I mean, nautical rope, what they use on boats for sailing. And so they're waterproof. So I said, sure, you know, send them. And so I've ha I have a good relationship. So hello, Captain. And so he sent me a, a package here and uh, Cool, I get to see cool Polish, cool Polish stamps. And look, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten stamps, so thank you so much for sending this uh, to me. And let's just see how I open this. This is here, in here, open here. So is there a rope or something? How do I open this? There's gotta be some way opening this. Um, I might just have to knife it, guys. I have a knife. Thank you. So I have my uh, knife here, so I'm gonna just cut her open. We'll see what he sent me. I know what he sent me. But I'm here showing you. Ta-da! T-shirts. So uh, they are a strap company, uh, uh, Sailor Strap, hence the name, but they've come up with a pretty cool line of T-shirts. So. This one here, famous line, uh, your first 1,000 photographs uh, are your worst. So that's a, a famous uh, quote from um, Henri Cartier-Bessant. And so I thought this was a really cool picture that only street photographer camera nerds would know what that's all about. So I thought this would be a cool shirt to wear. And this one here, does anyone know what that says? If you do know, comment down below. But uh, this is a, it's a Japanese inside joke uh, slash Polish joke, perhaps. But anyways, this is a famous line. And uh, I'm going to, yeah, this is really cool. I like it. And I like the gray, but this is in Japanese. So I thought this is a cool shirt. So that's number two. Number three. Number three. Look at this. I shoot film, and then it has the Sailor Strap logo, so uh, this is an awesome shirt. And then I'm leaving the best for last, the one that I thought would look the coolest. Let's see here. Look at this. Look at this. This is like a sardine can with a, it kind of looks like, a, what do you guys think? It looks, there's a little knob up there, but I thought maybe at first it looked like a cannonette, but it's like, Kind of a range finder, but the viewer is kind of in the middle, so it's not. It's probably focused by scale. But whatever the cam, you know, comment below if you know what type of camera this is based on. But it's a sardine can camera, so I don't really know if that's a Polish inside joke or some. I don't know, but I just thought the color was cool, and this would be a conversation piece. So uh, thank you so much, Captain of Sailor Strap, for sending me these T-shirts. Uh, in the mail. So that's basically it. Uh, my box opening um, t-shirts and these cool leather straps. I'm going to put these to good use. Uh, there is a reason why I ordered these t-shirts and it's an upcoming project. I guess people look at my YouTube channel and they wonder. Uh, one of the things I mentioned before was that uh, about making sure I didn't repeat. I'm sure I've worn this shirt in a previous review. I think it was with my Polaroid review from like last summer. So I try my best not to repeat my shirts, but this will help. Now I have four different shirts I can wear, so that's four new videos without repeating any of my clothing. So uh, that's an upcoming project. Uh, we'll talk about that later. And thank you, Juan of uh, Child of Labor for these cool straps. I'm gonna put these to good use as well for again, an upcoming project that we will reveal soon enough. So thank you so much for watching this unboxing and we will talk to you soon. I'm gonna grab this again, turn this on. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Click, click.